Hi, Bio203. Today we will examine the simple and complex plant tissue using the provided specimens, hand sectioning them, staining them with TBO or toluidin blue O, and viewing them under the compound microscope. The simple tissues include the parenchyma, which are the most ubiquitous, which can be found in most of the plant organs. The sclerenchyma, which can be found in the pears, and the colenchyma, which can be found in the celery tissues. The complex tissue, which are the xylem and phloem tissues, can be examined today using the stem of soybean and cucumber. For the purpose of demonstration, I will section the celery. It is noteworthy that for this part of hand sectioning, you section that with your bare hands without wearing any gloves to enhance the tactile feeling. There are two main types of planes of sectioning, the longitudinal sectioning in which you section along the length of the tissue. So for the celery, you would have some sort of uh, rectangular sections as seen around here. Another plane of sectioning is a cross section in which you section along the horizontal plane. So for the celery, if you section that along the horizontal plane, you would get the crescent moon shaped spe specimen. For a specimen to be viewed under the compound microscope, you try to section that micron thin, as thin as possible. When you have a good flow, just keep on sectioning, and then you can pick the best specimen to stain down the road. To handle the specimens, you try to handle that with the forceps or with the brush, and try to handle that at the tips or at the corner of the specimen not to damage so much tissue. Today, for staining, we will use TBO or toluidin blue O to stain your specimens. So first of all, drop one or two drops of water to prevent further desiccation of your tissue. Have another droplet of TBO. And another droplet of water for de-staining down the row. First of all, put your specimen into the TBO stain for around one minute. and then de-stain your specimen in water. When your specimen are de-stained, prepare a microscope slice for your specimens. On the slides, make sure that you label what it is, what tissue sample it is, and what plane of sectioning it is. Add a drop of water onto your microscope slide. using a pair of forceps place your specimen onto the slide 
make sure that your slide is sufficiently submerged in water. Cover your specimen with the cover slip. By covering the cover slip, you use an edge of the cover slip touching the slide at an angle. Slightly let it slide so that it's completely covered your specimen. Try to prevent bubbles from forming and obstructing the view of your specimen. Make sure that your specimen is fully submerged in water. Right now, it is ready to be viewed under the compound microscope.